What's going on, beautiful people of YouTube? This is Ring Bean, and welcome to episode number five of Live Video Game Hunts, the show where I show you all the awesome stuff I got through yard sales, flea markets, thrift stores, garage sales, let go off rope, Craigslist, that sort of thing. So make sure you stay tuned till the end where we'll do the pickups recap, show you all the stuff I got individually, as well as the really awesome score that my wife got that I do not have any live footage of. So make sure you stay tuned till the end of that. And if you could do anything for me, if you get any appreciation out of this series or show, leave a like and just show me a little bit of love. That would just really help me out and show me that, hey, there are some people out there that really like watching this stuff. So, But anyways, as always, I hope y'all enjoy this episode. Sit back and relax and enjoy the show. So here is an excellent start of the week right here. This is not actually me. This is my wife. I sent her off with the spy glasses to meet this guy. And for a crisp $100 bill, we got a complete inbox Wii U, the Super Smash Brothers Splatoon Edition, as well as a 2DS Mario Kart Edition. I had no idea it came with the original packaging. I was super happy about that when she called and told me. Uh, I was going to pay gladly for it without the. Now, you won't see the stuff in the pickups just because I already sold this stuff. I sold the Wii U for 330 and I sold the DS for 70 So, to be 100 in and to go up that much, I definitely got some extra money to keep adding to the game room. So, that's what this is all about. But for the first pickup of the week, very happy. The Wii U had a bunch of other good games on it. It had Mario Kart, uh, Zelda, Paper Mario, that sort of thing. So, very good pickup. Good start of the week right there. Very happy. Alright, so here we are at the Goodwill right across from my job. I'm here on my lunch break and nothing too crazy special in here. I do come across a shitty Wii title that I did not have. Uh, Game Party 2 Complete. This is $1.50. I'm not going to turn it down. I, you know, for, for my crappy Wii titles, $2 and below, I'm happy to pay. It doesn't bother me to, to fill up the collection with that much. Of course, I like to pay cheaper, but beggars can't be choosers. I also come across this copy of Scarface for the original Xbox. It's a common game, but it's just one that I did not have, and it's getting harder for me to find those games, because I've got such a collection for that system. Um, and you'll also see there is Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom, I think is what it's called. I was hesitant on buying it, but you'll see that I come right back to pick it up. That game is worth, I believe, somewhere between 10 and 15 bucks, so for $1.50 I picked it up, missing the manual, but it was a pretty good buy. I think I paid, what, $4.50 total here. Good buy. All right, so here we are at the flea market, and this guy has a stack of DVDs, and right on the top I see Left 4 Dead. Complete disc was in excellent condition, and he had that beautiful flea market price, which was a dollar. Definitely picked it up. Left 4 Dead is one of those games you need to keep an eye out while you're hunting because it's a very common game, but it's one that people still want to play, and they play the heck out of it. I definitely love the series Left 4 Dead 1 and 2. They're both very good games, um, but one to keep an eye out for. For a dollar, I, I think I would pay up to 3 or $4 just for Left 4 Dead because it'll still sell between you know 10 to 15 and sometimes higher depending on how the market is. That game kind of fluctuates, but definitely a good pickup for a dollar. Alright, so here's a very cool pickup at the flea market. Uh, right away you see Crash Bandicoot, and uh, he had a, a few PS1 games, and going through them, there was also another one that I picked up. It was called Hooters Ride Along. I've never seen it, so it was just one that I'm fairly certain was a PS1 exclusive. I don't know uh, the most about the PlayStation 1's library, but I am getting more and more knowledgeable with it the further I go along with it. But Crash Bandicoot was black label. The disc was in pretty good condition. And, you know, seeing this stuff, I'm looking through it. My wife discovers this, like, basket full of PlayStation stuff. Um, I always get her to go through those controllers and look through the cords and all that because you know I ha how I am about them damn controllers. Pick them up when you can, especially PlayStation ones. And so I get her to go through them, and she only comes out with one of them that was in good condition. And the guy goes down here and he says, well, I got more game stuff. And I thought he had some really good stuff down here, but... For whatever reason, this guy just has stacks of PlayStation consoles. So he had PS2s over here. He had like three or four all together. And uh, the, I did pick one up. I got the P, uh, PlayStation Slim from him. All together, I ended up getting a PlayStation Slim, a uh, the, the copy of Crash Bandicoot, Hooters Ride Along, and one PlayStation controller. And it was funny because this guy was like well for $35 you can have all that and that included the consoles, the controllers and all. the controllers were junk and there was like three fat Playstation 2's and it, it really wouldn't have been a bad deal I probably could have shackled them down to like 25 or you know to 30 um, I, I got a stack of Playstations already I just didn't want to put any more money or time into them until I get rid of the ones that I got I do pick up the Slims when I can um, so I'm sitting here trying to haggle with this guy. I got my few games here, 
And you you do come across those people who just want to unload everything all at once, and they don't want to sell you anything individually. But if they don't want to work with me, I don't work with them, and I roll out. But um, I do tell them, I say, hey, uh, let me grab this one PlayStation here. I'm, I'm making my stack. I got Crash Bandicoot. I got uh, Hooters right along, and I got one controller. I ask him how much, and he said, like, what did he say? He said something stupid, like uh, 15 I think, is what he wanted. Um, it wasn't stupid. I mean, it was a good price. It's just not a price that I wanted to pay, and I was like, well, how about 10 And he kept saying he couldn't do it because it belonged to some kid or something, which I knew was BS. If you don't want to do it, just tell me. That's fine. Um, so one of those things that I always tell you guys that don't be scared to put something back because a lot of the times they'll say, go ahead and take it. It's no big deal. So he, he didn't want to work with me, uh, so I say, well, how about just for the games, I set the PlayStation back, and he puts it right back in my hands, he says, how about 12 So $12 for that stack, really good deal, very happy about that, so good pickup. So this was my last pickup on Saturday at the flea market. This was a very good one. I'm glad I stopped up here. These people were set up way up top. I'm glad I checked them out. Um, right off the gate here you see the Grand Theft Auto Collector's Edition for original Xbox. I have been looking for that for so long. Finally found it. One of them was actually sealed. I think it was uh, Grand Theft Auto 3 which was sealed. And then you got Vice City in there as well. I find it all the time for PlayStation. I don't know what it is, but anytime I want to find something for original Xbox, I'm going to find it for PlayStation. If you don't know, I'm avidly collecting for that system. So anytime I find any games for it, very happy and excited. This guy also had some cool 360 games. Some, uh, he had some stuff here that I did not have. And he had an amazing flea market price, which I love to hear, which is $2. And, of course, I'm you know I'm going to get me a big stack of this stuff and work it down even lower. So I probably paid like $1.50 a piece for these games. Very good deal. Very happy to get stuff that I can throw into the room and actually keep. So, And then you see that copy of Tron. I picked that up last episode for the PlayStation 3. Um, because it had, it said, you know, exclusive to PlayStation 3 with the, the move con, you know, content on there, which is kind of bogus. It gets you, you know, to think that the game's exclusive, but I did get it on the 360. I got Fight Club there, which I did not have. Very happy to pick it up. That's another one that I was looking for. Um, the first rule about it, never talk about it, but man, I'm talking about it now because I've been looking for that game for a while. Um, you see here, and I, I give this advice out to people, instead of having like an Excel spreadsheet or just a whole list of all the games you have in your collection, just take a picture of the wall. Take, you know, if you keep your stuff uh, in alphabetical order, all you got to do is take you know, two or three pictures to cover. It depends on how many games you got. Take a picture, and if you got a good enough phone to zoom in, that's what you see me here doing. I'm going to my 360 collection as well as my original Xbox collection, and I'm checking on uh, a few 360 games here just to make sure that I do not have them already because I hate buying duplicates. It happens. Uh, when you're collecting for a system that you want, you know, you you pay the price sometimes, and you don't want to have to pay that price if you don't have to. So you'll see me, I'm actually looking through original Xbox here just to double check. But that's a good system. I've had one person tell me it's helped them out a lot to actually uh, take a picture of their shelf, and then you see here I'm doing that same with the 360. I don't want to type in all these games. Every time I get home, sometimes I come home with 40 or 50 games. I don't want to type them in. I will alphabetically, uh, alphabetize them on the shelf snap a picture and that's all I need to do right there so you'll see I got hell I have no idea how many games that stack right there to the right and maybe a few more but I paid sixteen seventeen dollars for very good stack this guy was awesome I almost thought about picking up one of those guitars here and I you call me crazy but that stuff's gonna start coming back and it's gonna get harder to find because a lot of people are junking that stuff uh, but I do need it for the original Xbox or for the 360. Uh, I want to start getting. If I'm getting any guitar ears, I want to get it for the 360. I do got a big stack for the PlayStation 2. I picked up a few videos back, but uh, I'd much rather have it for the 360. So. Good pickup here. Very good end to the flea market uh, day on Saturday. I had uh, a whole lot more luck beyond this. But anytime I get any footage on the flea market here lately, this doesn't seem like you know the most epic of finds, but. I have gotten lucky here the past few, and I have found a few things, but let's move on to the next. Alright, so here's the first yard sale after the flea market on Saturday, and nothing too crazy special at this one, but I do find a copy of The Sims 2 for Nintendo DS, the Castaway Edition. Very cool to pick that up. I paid two bucks for this. Uh, another game to add to the collection. The Sims is a cool series, especially when it comes to do with like survival-related uh, topic so happy to pick that up for two dollars it's complete always check DS games they are infamous for not being in there but 
it's in there two dollars good pickup good start for uh for the yard sales here all right, so on this next one, you're going to see me hustle a little bit. I see a Super Nintendo and an NES and some games as I pull up, and I also see a reseller, so I want to move my ass and get up there before he has a chance to see this stuff. Super happy because I made it, but then I got discouraged when I seen this blue piece of tape on here that said 125 bucks for all the game stuff. Definitely a good swift kick in the stones, but I was going to make the best of a bad situation. Rummage through it, uh, thinking to myself he might you know, separate the games or sell something separately. Um, he did have some pretty good titles in here, Yoshi's Island, Donkey Kong, and he had these wireless uh, Super Nintendo controllers made by Acclaim, which is pretty cool. They're, they're kind of uncommon. You don't see them too much. Um, I asked him if he'd sell the stuff separately. He said he grew up with it. It didn't hurt him if he sold it or not, so he definitely wasn't going to break up the bundle. As I say that, this damn spud wrench behind me comes up and says, well, let me look at it, and I wasn't about to let him get in on the deal, so kind of shoot him away from the equation. So I tell this guy, I say, hey man, I already got these consoles, is this the lowest price you would take? And he says, well, hit me with a number, or worse than, you know, he's going to tell me is no. So I say, how about 60 bucks? He comes back with 90 and then we ended up settling for $80. And that's not too terrible of a price. Um, I refurbish NES consoles all the time, um, you know, realign the pins, polish them, recap them if I need to. And I'll sell them locally with a few good games for about $100, so... Picked up that NES, the Super Nintendo, had some games in there that I didn't have, as well as those really cool wireless controllers. So for $80 with that in the system, I'll definitely be able to make some money and keep some cool stuff in the process. So I wasn't about to uh, let that discourage me. It just wasn't the good yard sale price that I like to pay. You know, if I would have pulled up and saw $20 on that, I, my wallet would have been out quick, man. Uh, but sometimes this is what you got to go through, and you got to work your angles around to kind of see what's going to be best for you. And if he wasn't want to break it up, and if his price would have stayed at 125, I would have had to walk on. But luckily, you know, being kind and courteous, I talked to these people. He was cool to work with me. Um, he was uh, he grew up with this stuff. It wasn't like he was a recent collector or anything. He this is stuff that he had when he was younger, and it didn't. He said it didn't bother him if he sold it or not. So. Definitely get on a one-on-one -on -one level with these people because they're going to work with you, especially if you're nice and kind. And I'm very happy that the reseller next to me didn't get anything because he was kind of a dick to butt in on my sale, which that's just a, there's a rule, you know, there's a, it's a, a hidden rule. Don't do that. Uh, if, if I didn't get it, I would walk off and then you can come up. But he wanted to kind of uh, leech on my neck and try to butt in, but I wasn't about to let it happen. So $80, good pickup. Um, definitely a good retro find. Not the sexiest, but... Happy to pick it up nonetheless. Alright, so here's another good sale that I got. And now keep in mind, it was raining that day, and it was very hard to find anything. But I did find some cool stuff. And at this sale, um, this lady had an original Xbox in this box here, um, as well as three controllers, one being the Halo Edition, which was pretty cool. I asked her how much she wanted. She said 20 but she's willing to negotiate. So whenever they say that, my Sheckler like, stands at full attention. And uh, she says uh, there may be some more stuff in the house, but she wasn't too certain. It was like a bunch of other people's stuff at the sale. Uh, so I say, well, let me come back to it, and we'll check it out here in a minute. Um, now, this next find here, I decided to leave it in for future reference. Anytime I find some toys, I'm thinking about taking that footage out, putting it into a whole other collaboration. That way we just we keep this game finds. But I did decide to leave it in this one time just because this is the only toy find that I had on this uh, episode. Uh, but this was a very cool find. I don't know much about toys, but I'm pretty sure I got a heck of a deal on this. Um, all these toys were from the 90s. Almost everything was sealed. And um, I asked her, I was like, hey, how much do you want for, the, you know, for these toys? And she said, 50 cents a piece. Well, at that point, my Sheckler stands even further at attention. And I say, well, how much for this whole crate um, as well as the original Xbox? And I shit you not. She says, well, how about $20 for everything? So... I got an original Xbox, three controllers, and a huge, I mean, talking, this tote was huge, and everything was sealed in there, um, and I, I just thought it was an amazing deal. There were, there were some toys in here that were out of package, um, but keep in mind, I'm not going to show this on every episode. I'm going to start taking any of my toy finds and putting them into a separate collaboration video, and those videos may take a long time to come out because I, I don't really hunt for toys that much, but I have been getting requests for people who do want to see it. And for you people out there, I hope you all see this tote right here and tell me what you think, if that was a good deal or not. So $20 for original Xbox and that huge tote, as well as she had this other box over here full of more toys that she showed me. Um, I ended up getting that as well as two cups for Star Wars. They were like these two like uh, little like drink cups kind of thing. They were vintage. Um, actually, I paid... 
$22 for everything because I got these toys that she said came with it. There was some more stuff in here, Marvel Alliance, uh, Alliance that sort of thing, Avengers, all that stuff. And so I got that, uh, threw those in there with the two cups. She didn't want to go up on the price for the 20 that she said, still $20. Um, it's only when I picked up the two Star Wars cups that she said, she did say $5 on those. I was like, how about $2? She said, sure. I love people like that, man. I love it when they're easy to get along with and they don't mind uh, to, to haggle and talk. They just want to get it gone. I mean, as a lot of people say, you know, as the saying goes, a yard sale is the last step before you throw this stuff out. And it's crazy what some people are willing to throw out or get rid of, but that's kind of true for a lot of people. And so $22 for all this, man, come on, that was a good deal. Very happy about it, but don't worry, in the next episode here, I won't be showing any uh, toy finds. I'm going to try to remove them and keep them out, unless it's like one. I mean, I'm just going to keep it in, who knows. We'll see where it goes. Let me know what you think down below. All right, so here we are Sunday at the flea market, and we are at Mr. Hello Friends booth. And like I said, the only time I'm ever going to show you a reseller's table is when I catch them slipping or I just get an amazing deal. And here, I and the, the times that I catch really good deals with this guy is the times that he hasn't had time to look stuff up on his phone to see the actual prices of things. And what caught my eye is he had this complete in box Model One Sega Genesis. Um, it had the inserts, it had the controller, two controllers, the power pack, all that. Um, and it had, I don't know why, but it was wrapped in saran wrap. I don't know if they were trying to protect it. It kind of had me worried. I thought like maybe it was falling apart. The box isn't in the best condition, um, but it wasn't terrible at the same time. So, and I love haggling with this guy, man. He's so funny to deal with. Like I said, anytime like he thinks he's losing a dollar, it's like the most detrimental thing that could have ever happened to him. So he's kind of funny just to talk to. Um, one of these days, I am going to record them, and a lot of you people kind of wonder why I don't have, like, the actual live audio of this stuff. It, it kills my camera glasses. The battery is, like, cut in half whenever I record audio, so that's why you kind of hear my over, like, the narration over. But some of these times, I'm, I'm going to try to get you some actual audio footage, and in the meantime, just annoy, uh, enjoy my annoying voice here. But I'm sitting here talking to this guy, and he says, hit me with a price. Uh, and at first, he tried to say $100. There was a no way my damn Sheckler was going to allow that. And he's like, and he always says friend or hello friend, and that's why, you know, we gave him that nickname. And I say, $20. So, of course, you know, I'm going to come back strong with the shekel. Uh, and he actually rebuttaled it. I think he ended up saying 45 Um Altogether, I got this complete in-box Sega Genesis, and he had four games. I got a complete in-box Sonic, uh, as well as two copies of Sonic 2 and Mortal Kombat. Only one of them was complete, which was Sonic. But I paid $35 for that. So for a complete inbox Sega Genesis, um, as well as those four games, $35. Come on, people. I had to put this on camera. That's one of the few boxes I'm missing. So all I'm missing now is an N64 in box, and then I'll be happy once I get that. But this guy's cool, man. Like, you got to get friendly. Even if they're resellers, get friendly with them. Um, talk to them because they'll start working you some deals and a lot of times you can catch them slipping that's the only time you're going to see footage of a reseller table is if I catch them slipping hard and this was a good slip I feel so if you think so let me know down below because I'm definitely happy to pick up that complete in box anything is good especially for a good price so 35 bucks very happy hello friends saves the day so here's one that I did not get actual footage of, but I did want to include it. Uh, we got PlayStation 2 Falling Skies right here. Missing the manual, but I picked this up for $5. It is a PS2 exclusive. Um, so I wanted to pick that up and show you guys, even though I didn't get the actual footage. And I kind of get to show you an overview of the flea market I'm at, which is pretty busy today. Pretty happy about it. Alright, so here's the last pickup I got for the weekend. It was actually a really good one, too. Uh, this was on Craigslist. The lady posted a Xbox 360 in a box, and it looked like there was so many games. And they said that they only wanted $50, but they were firm on the price. And as I continued reading, it said they also had N64 stuff. So I sent her a text message, asked her if she could, uh, she could send me some pictures. And in the pictures, there was Majora's Mask, the Holographic Edition, Super Mario 64, Pokemon Stadiums, Pokemon Snap. Three controllers, the N64, and I said, well, how much for everything? And she hit me back with 80 bucks, man. And that's a good deal right there because, I mean, obviously you know what I'm going to get for the N64 and stuff. So, And as we see here, um, you don't see me go through any of the Xbox 360 games in detail here, but in the pickups, we'll go through them all. And there was actually some pretty cool titles in there that I did not have. 
So to get some stuff to add to collection and some good resale stuff to continue to add to collection, I'm pretty happy about it. He did have an original Game Boy in a few games, but he did not want to come off of it. Um, he says that is his most nostalgic little device ever, so I'm definitely not going to, you know, keep persisting that he brings it out. You know, sometimes you just got to be happy with what you got and roll on out. But definitely some good finds this week, people. So stay tuned here. We're going to go through all the pickups and show you all the stuff we got as well as the cool stuff my wife got. Stay tuned. All right, so it's time to do the recap, show you all the cool stuff that we got here. I hope you enjoyed all that live footage. Make sure you leave that like. Let's go over all this stuff individually, no particular order, just kind of run through it. So first thing we got here, Hooters Road Trip for the PlayStation 1. I do not have this, definitely going to be keeping that. Copy of Crash Bandicoot as well as a PS1 or PS2 Slim with a controller. Um, I paid $12 for that, I believe, in that pickup. Uh, good score on that, you know Crash Bandicoot's going to sell for like 30 bucks anyways. Um, today, uh, being Sunday, I picked this up from a buddy of mine. I was going to trade him a GameCube game, like Star Wars game, but I sold it. Uh, to one of the very few times I actually sell at the flea market, we did today. I let my wife take over. Um, she sold the game before I could actually trade it, so I ended up paying 5 bucks for that. Not bad. It's an exclusive I do not have. Uh, let's see. We got an original Xbox. That's been a week of, of Xboxes, man. It's crazy. Original Xbox, I got all the cords and controllers, three three controllers, all have the dongles, all the accessories. They're in there. You don't need to see them. You know what the controllers look like. All right. Also got, which I'm very happy for, complete in-box Sega Genesis. Uh, two controllers. I mean, this thing is complete. The box is not exactly mint, but it's also not terrible. So this is one of the boxes that I was missing. Um, I think the only thing that I'm missing now is an N64, and I have all the boxes that I really want. So this one, very happy to get paid 35 for this. As you didn't see on camera, but I also got four games. I got Sonic the Hedgehog complete in box, two copies of Sonic 2 and Mortal Kombat. $35 for that, amazing deal. Now I got that through Hello Friends, so you know him from previous episodes. He's a cool dude to deal with. You can catch him slipping a lot of times. I don't know if it's so much him slipping anymore as it's him just helping me out because he does me some good deals. All right. Oh, Lord, we got a whole bunch of stuff to go through original xbox here i've been looking for this i find this all the time on playstation 2 and it pisses me off got me a copy of the collector's edition double pack the grand theft auto this has was it vice city and grand theft auto 3 one of these is sealed i get this all the time for playstation 2 but i never get it for original xbox the system that i happen to collect for very happy to pick that up picked up left for dead for a dollar come on now you know to pick that up uh we got fight club Terminator Salvation, Face Breaker, Lucha Libre, Hero something, Mexican wrestling stuff, that's crazy. Uh, I picked this up last week for PlayStation 3, but now I got it for 360, which is Tron Evolution. Uh, UFC 2009, Jumper Griffin Story, I'm trying to remember where all these came from. Indiana Jones, uh, Lego, the original adventure, oh it's a double thing, yeah. Yeah, it's a two twofer on that one. Uh, was it? T I almost said TNA. Is that TNA? Tits and ass impact. I have no idea. Marvel Ultimate Alliance game I did not have. Uh, here is a DS game I did not have, which was The Sims Castaway 2. Uh, cool to pick that up. Let's get all the God Almighty. Why do Why do we always end up with so much awesome stuff? This is crazy. All right. Um, at the cell where I found the SNES and the NES, uh, I'll show you what we've got here. We do have the NES, which with a pretty clean copy of Super Mario Bros. 3. Um, we got the system, and it has one controller, no hookups, but I keep those on lock, so I'll refurbish that, and those things sell great when you do a good refurbishing job on there. Um, he also had, and I paid $80 for all this, which was a, it, it was high, but it was a good deal. You'll see why here. Um, some little multi uh, three-in-one adapter for like SNES, Sega, that sort of thing. Uh, of course, we got the SNES, no yellowing, so that should clean up nicely. Um, this was cool. It had the acclaimed dual turbo wireless controllers with the receiver. Very happy about that because I do not have those, and that's just cool. I've never used those. I wonder if they lag. Uh, controller and the games are what made it worth it. So I paid eighty dollars. Now keep in mind with that SNES refurbished. Or that NES uh, refurbished with Mario. I mean, that's 80, 90 bucks right there. So, uh, we got Donkey Kong Country, Vegas Strike, Disney's Aladdin, one that I did not have, which was Ultimate Fighter. 
um, Yoshi's Island, uh, which is you know, what that's going to sell for. And RBI Baseball, so picked all that up for 80 bucks. Uh, I'm pretty happy about it. But it would have been better at about 40 bucks, but we all can't be uh, winners on everything, even though that was a good deal. All right, let's throw some of these Goodwill finds here. All right, let's see here. This was my first Goodwill pickup of the week, I believe, which was Scarface, which I'm pretty sure I do not have this for the original Xbox. Super excited to find that. I've been finding a lot of games here lately that I do not have for the original Xbox, which is awesome. Game Party 2, shitty little Wii title. These were all a buck fifty. Um, and then SpongeBob SquarePants. This is the one, yeah, Battle for Bikini Bottom. I think it sells for like ten or ten or fifteen bucks, maybe. Um, pick pick that up, it's not bad. Uh, and one of my better. Uh, you know, Goodwill finds. Even though it's high price, I can still, I can still profit pretty well off this. Um, always pick up Star Wars Battlefronts, uh, especially for the original Xbox. This is the number two. I paid five dollars for this, which was sold all day for thirty. Um, one I did not have, which was uh, Nice of the Old Republic. Uh, the first one I have, the you know the sequel. Paid five for it. These were high price. Some little fuckhead there likes to. Yeah, he gets pretty proud of his Goodwill games, so he he individually prices them, but you catch them slipping too many damn times like you see with, like, Battlefront. But we got Pokemon Battle Revolution. I paid 9 for that. And then we got Pokepack Wii Pikachu's Adventure. paid 9 for that. So 30 for everything. Battlefront will pay for all that. So not exactly upset. Just I would have been better with, uh, you know, a little bit cheaper. But I'm a cheap motherfucker anyways. Um, I'll show you the awesome stuff that my wife picked up just because we got two other boxes to go through. Um, I want to get her some glasses. I tried to, to show her how to ninja that thing with her phone, but hell, I'm not good at it, so I can't expect her to be any good at it. Uh, but she came across a Wii lot, and she picked up four games, and and uh, this right here. She only paid $15, um, but we got the Wii Motion Plus controller, the blue, official, with the black steering wheel. That's official, so you know those things always do well, so... Let alone that controller is going to be like 20 bucks right there. And she picked up four games. The games are all excellent titles. You got Super Mario Galaxy 2, complete. Okami, complete. And of course, if you got the wheel, you got Mario Kart. But the one that she picked up that was ultra special, uh, check this out. The Last Story with the art book and soundtrack limited edition. This thing's like, it's pretty high end right there. So that was very cool to find. This thing is in excellent condition. I mean, there is not even a blemish or a smudge on that disc. So, very cool to pick that up. She paid $15 for all of it. That was an excellent score. So, very happy about that. Uh, I'm telling you, if you got a girlfriend or a wife, go, go, you know, go to them yard sales and flea markets. Split up. You don't need to be side by side. You see what happens when you split up. You find some good shit. Um, all right, now the stuff that I just picked up, like probably like 30 minutes ago, um, I paid $80 for this. We got an N64 and some games, and we got a Xbox 360 with a shit ton of games. I haven't even looked through the 360 games. We're going to do that now for the first time on camera. I don't know what it is. $80 was a heck of a deal. I mean, it's obviously, you'll see here, we got three N64 controllers. I'm not going to show you because you know what the controllers look like. Um, but we got Pokemon Snap. Very crisp, very clean Majora's Mask with the holographic label. Super Mario 64. And I don't think I have the original Pokemon Stadium. I know I have Pokemon Stadium 2, but now I got that right there. Uh, that with a system. No expansion, but it does have its jumper pack in there. But I paid $80, $80 alone for that would have been a pretty good deal. Uh, but now let's go through the actual 360 and show you all what we got here because I'm really hoping there's going to be a lot of 360 games that I can keep because you know that I'm collecting for that system. All right, so hopefully we're going to get some winners in here. All right, I'm already seeing that a handful of these are sealed and unopened. That's a good thing. All right, Fight Night Round 4 sealed. Nothing too sexy special about that, but Fight Night is a fun series. Uh, NCA March Madness. Here's a cool one which I don't think I have, which is Sid Meier's Revolution. Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops, Disney's Cars, in my opinion one of the best Maddens, which is Madden 09. Uh, we got a sealed Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Alright, let's keep digging them out here. Alright. Ghost Recon 2, which I don't think I have. Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter. Don't you fall now, we don't need that shit. NCA 08. There's the best fight night right there, which is round three. Very cool fight night game to play. 
full auto. Don't think I have, so I'm already getting some winners here. Halo 3, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. We're not done. Oh, yeah, check this out. We got Fable 3. Hey, I got Left 4 Dead 1. Well, now I got Left 4 Dead 2, so that's good right there. You know that's going to sell. Ghost Recon. Oh, these are some original Xbox games in here. Too. All right. Might get lucky on that. Ghost Recon, which I think I did. We got Ghost Recon Summit Strike 2. Uh, Ghost Recon Island Thunder. I'm pretty sure I got that. NCA Football 09. All right. Boy, he was a damn Tiger Woods fan, I can tell. It's a shame. But it's all right. We got Tiger Woods 09. Uh, Project Gotham Racing 3. Xbox Live Arcade, The Masters, Tiger Wood 9, we got every damn Tiger Wood there, Tiger Wood 7, FIFA Soccer, oh here's a cool one, Top Spin 2, you don't see that too often, um, I got the system down here, what size hard drive on there, it's a white system, one of the originals, uh, ooh, it doesn't have the hard drive number on there, so it could be a 20. It's all right if it is, but it's got the controller hookups, all that. I paid 80 bucks for all that with the N64. I mean, come on. That's a good deal. Uh, but anyways, that's it, people. I really hope y'all enjoyed this episode. This was an excellent week. Uh, I think every week we're just having some good luck. Don't want to jinx myself. Some weeks we may not have any good luck. I may only give you like 15 minutes of footage. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this so much. You guys have been awesome. You are showing me awesome support. I love your comments. Uh, everything y'all got to say. I always try to respond to anybody who talks to me. As always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you leave that like. I hate to be one of those people, but man, it shows me some love. I hate these 1,500 views and 100 likes. Come on, man. We could do better. Thank you all so much for, so blah, much for watching. And make sure you check out the other episodes. As always, take care.